Welcome to lab two. I'm gonna launch Visual Studio Code, open my Explorer and choose Open Folder. And then I'll go to my Documents folder and I'm gonna open this whole folder called Website Production Summer 2023. And you'll see, let me just close some of these here so we can speak about file hierarchy. All right, here's the folder I said I opened. I'm gonna close these two so that when you choose open editors, you won't see anything here. Um, if I open website production, and by the way, this little symbol here is sometimes called a caret, C-A-R-E-T. That's what I use. When you click on the caret, it opens the folder and shows you what's inside of it. And we already know inside my website production folder is 15 weeks that I've created. If I open week one, which we did in the last five videos, you'll see I've got lab one, and there's the images, the document called five, and the document called index. I'm gonna just right click to open it. And there it is. I think that when I opened it at the end, my home button was not working. And let's take a look at why that was happening. Because I don't know if your last file has the home button working or not, but on line 11 here, I had forgotten to put in that little quote mark. And because of that, the line following it, line 12, this link was not working. So you can see how one tiny little mistake in the code can cause something else below it to not work. Um, let's close lab one and take a peek at lab two. And I do wanna talk about the indentation here. You can see the furthest to the left is my root folder, the website production folder. And indented from there are all of these weeks indented again from there oops i don't have anything in week two yet indented again from there is lab one and lab two we're working on lab two right now so you can see these vertical lines show you the indentations why is this important it's important because i have a folder here called assets and in this folder, I have something called images. That's just the same images that were in lab one. And I also have this hierarchy PNG. So this is going to explain to you what these levels, the indentation means. They're exaggerated in this um, illustration. But just so you know, another word for directory is folder. For the description of root is the highest or the top level of folders. This is my root folder. Hierarchy is just a way of saying the levels of files and folders. In this illustration, you'll see that the folders have a little caret beside them. And if it doesn't have a little caret, that means it's a file. A file always has to have a file extension like .jpg or .txt. So this is just an important way to understand file hierarchy. I'm going to open up index.html and just have that open and ready for us so that we can view it when it comes to the time. We're going to add some images to the page called 5.html, so let's look at that. Five topics. Oh, look, when I'm on the home, it looks like that doesn't work. So let me just jump over to Visual Studio Code and see if that mistake, yeah, it's also on this page. So I'm gonna add the quote mark, and now that should be working. Let me do a save, and there it is. So now they both work. On this page, we're gonna add some images. Now, how do I know which images to add and where? I do know that I have a bunch of images here in lab two, and that's what I'm gonna use. They're the same ones that were in lab one. We just didn't have a chance to place them. So I know they're here, but how do I know which images to add? Well, 
At the bottom of the home page is that source. Let me click that. And here is where I got all the information for this page. And here are the images. So all we need to do is look at where this first image goes. It goes, there's a title called a simple network and a paragraph that ends with connections. Let's look at that. Uh, this is on, let me close these images. This is going to be on this page. Uh, a simple network, there's that. And it ends with these connections. Actually, I think it's after this. Let me just double check. Yeah, note for the rest of this article. So this is where I want to add my image. The image tag you might remember is IMG. It's a very simple tag. It is a tag that's called an empty element because it doesn't have a closing tag. But it does need an attribute. And that's what we're going to put here. And that's why I was discussing this file hierarchy with you. Um, so I know I want to put an image in, but I also know that I'm here on the page called 5. SRC equals, that means source equals. So I know that the first folder I have to go into is the assets folder from 5. It's going to go up this straight line. I need to get in the assets folder and then I need to go into the images folder. So let's begin typing that path. And you can see it's finishing it for me. And from here I need to go to the images folder and I need schema one. So that's the right path. And I knew how to get to that path because I was on five. I followed the line straight up. I knew I needed to get into assets and then into images. Let's do a save and see how that looks. There it is. So now what I'm going to do, and I'm going to pause this video while I do it, is I'm going to go back to this and look at where image 2 falls. I'll walk you through this one more time. It's a paragraph that ends with computer exclamation point. So this will be right here. The IMG tag, the attribute called source equals, and then I'll start my folder path. Assets, Images, and Schema 2. Save, and hopefully, there it is. So as I said, I'm going to run through the rest of these. I'll pause this video, and then I'll come right back so we can finish it up.